well, you know, probably it could have run away. But so I took that as my 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 block, my border. So every time we have a, a problem, the artistic creative process starts working, and we find a way around, which is more imaginative than we ever could have thought of <coughs> if we had free reign to go and help everybody else. So that's when the whole feeling and idea and recognition that Cassi itself was full of refugees. And I can work on a film about this and show it to many people later, though I can't do direct help right now. But those paintings came earlier, and then they become metaphors, the way you use them. But they weren't done with that intention. You know, of course, when the sound and picture editing, because he's paradise, or was it? Mm -hmm. And the red paint drips down over the ocean. So, you know, that is placed in purpose to make that read as a premonition of something negative to come. Yeah. Um, why do you then paint? Like to. Yeah, but it's yeah. exactly. Matisse obviously also liked to paint. Yeah. So why do you bring together and his historical atrocities and all this and still paint over? Why do you do it then? Because you like it. I mean, Matisse liked it. Yeah. And he made the choice not doing anything or staying sick and getting healthy and continue painting. Yeah. I, I mean, think it's, you seem to be on the same level. In life. I think is. If I were writing my, my thesis here, or if I'm a filmmaker, I have to practice my discipline every day. And we talked about this in my class. If I put it aside, so Matisse needed to keep working, to keep his chops up, so to speak, you know, musician. But I looked at the work that he did during the war. I looked at about 45 paintings. They're not significant. They're not the ones that are talked about, that are hung in shows, etc. However, maybe he was just keeping the rhythm of the studio visits. Can't one also, and I hope that question is posed to you, can't I also look at CNN, try to read beyond the New York Times? Can't I, you know, when Move On comes in and asks me to just spend a minute going and saying that we, we need to continue the filibuster, we don't need to accept every judge that Bush puts forth, can't I take a minute and go add my name to that list? Can't I give another $25, I don't get that much, but can't I do, these little bits add up, you know, but I can continue to do my film work, you know. So, you know, in a way the film is resolved by my practice, since I have to go out and talk to people about this, then I have to mm -hmm. practice what I preach. Yeah. Can you tell me about your interviewing style? How long do you spend with those people? How one long? hour. Just one hour. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, one hour or less. I would say, um, with Claude, it was definitely an hour. And I did not know the story he was going to tell me. I did not know about the torture of his mother. There were two sentences in books that I found that said that they were both in the resistance. Never knew about the torture. I've never been so intimately connected with somebody who told me about their mother being tortured. And my hands started shaking because I was didn't have a tripod. So, um, and with um, the granddaughter, I probably, Jacqueline Matisse Monnier, I probably spent less time. She wasn't very forthcoming. And um, I don't think she liked the angle in which I was heading the questions. Because, of course, when I asked, I didn't say exactly what the film was. And I also hope not to, to polarize art and politics just want to raise that question for each one of us. Yeah. I'm deeply impressed by, by the film artist. Um. And the way you, I mean, the, the way you use painting, painting is a screen, and the screen is transparent. It's a double transparency. This is the glass and it's the transparency of the medium. And you use photography in a, we you talked about the class of photography, well, photography in a film, fine eyes, and the way it's symbolic, allegoric, the way you can deal with photography in film. 
and with different levels of of the encrustion of time. This is in the photography of the film. And now seeing and sometimes you know the film is still in my mind, it's still turning around. Uh, the way you use Photography, your screen, film, and something else, which is the acceleration. So it is the, the this this brilliant form by the possibility of the, of the forty-five minutes, uh, twenty-five minutes. It seems that each element has a very precise cinematic function in your film, and even with the photographs. Uh, you are avoiding very clearly any kind of, of because you said for, of, of symbolism. So the, the so each element seems to be, be become as well the fictitious presence of yourself, mm. which is completely fictitious, and, and the other presence of, of the uh, at the end. Uh, they all seem to become like counterpoints, counterpoint mm -hmm. uh, in. in because this is the way you say it in the beginning, mm -hmm. that the formal composition of this film is made by resistance. Mm -hmm. And, the and way it grows. Yes. It and the way, you, and the way you, you, you seem to work with this resistance is not only because the resistance by the material itself, mm -hmm. but there is another resistance, so by the reference, but another resistance which seems to be by the how do you say this now intricate relation between the media that you're using, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and this is very because it's of course the montage and all this we know, but it's a very you seem to reflect each medium into the other, mm -hmm. so it, it is a permanent work of, of translation, mm -hmm. making a rug with different textures. Yeah, e each one referring back to I mean why and tint. The colors, you know, the black and white footage of Hitler. You know. Yeah, well, you know, at the beginning, you could, my first reaction is, oh my god, this gets very symbolic. Mm -hmm. And it, in, 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 in going through the film, story, you see that you are struggling with a conflict against this form of symbolism. Mm -hmm. So, this is what I think the use of your painting is, is structurally, it's, it's, it's not only because you love painting. <laughs> But structurally, it's absolutely important. 